Hello Sagittarius, here is your reading for the month of March. Welcome. Please make sure that you are looking at all your signs, North Node as well as very important. This is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node for the month of March. Please know that these are general. If you would like to work closer with me, all my info is down below. If you're new, make sure you hit that like and subscribe. Looks like you're going through some transition here, Sag. We have uh, Between Worlds popping up. So if you are new, make sure you like this video for me and subscribe. And welcome to all my returning subscribers. Make sure the bell is hit. Let's take a look. What is going on for love with Sagittarius? What is going on with the Sagittarius mind? Heart, action, and outcome. Thank you, Spirit. So yeah, there is definitely a change that is happening with you, Sages. Okay, so there definitely is something that's happening with wind of change. Okay, we have mending. I feel like this was over here. That was in birth too. Yeah. So Spirit is really asking to go the distance this month in love. However, you've been looking at manifesting working on things. Um, you may have somebody in mind because in your heart you're healing. You may be asked to mend a connection within yourself, um, to be very present in yourself and to be ready for a massive change and to really go the distance. That's really what I'm hearing. Spirit is saying there's going to be a massive amount of healing in your love life coming in March Sagittarius. So this is really wonderful because what's happening here is the more that you stay present and action the present moment, instead of looking too far in the future or too far behind you, um, it's going to bring about this beautiful new change. Um, this zebra is very unique and um, has a compass on the top, which is like, you know, the winds of change and the elements working for you. So universe is manifesting and bringing something for you. Let's take a look. This is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. What is going on with Sagittarius? This is the Kipper deck. Let's take a look at it. What is going on with Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Yeah. Let's see the mind space, the heart space. Yeah, you may have been in a little bit of despair here, Sag. Let's take a look. We have the house. So, mending your temple, mending your foundation, mending your home. You've been in despair, but Spirit says that you've been going the distance here. You've been really working through a lot of your own despair. And so your action right now is just to be present and allowing is what I'm getting. You're being gifted a very high honor here in love. So be just present just allow there's nothing i don't feel there's anything for you to do Saj, in the month of in this month yeah winds of change there's a courtship coming for you spirits manifesting it so that's what's happening here you don't need to do anything you just need to chill even though you may feel like there's some despair or whatever else that's going on keep working through that go the distance build your foundation build your home build your family build your life be grounded emotionally it's not just financial but it's emotional right being grounded in the home being stable nurturing self spirit is saying when you do that you're gaining a lot of high honor for yourself as you be present and you're allowing this connection to come in now this could be whoever you're thinking of okay if you are single um and there's nobody this is for you know whatever you've gone through in love right there is some courtship coming in a relationship let's take a look this is for sagittarius sun moon rising venus thank you and north nodes for sag please yeah you've been dealing with a lot of maybe um narcissism or people that are and i mean narcissistic have many different flavors they don't have to be outright like narcissist everyone's a little bit narcissist it just depends on how much your ego is inflated so this person has been you know um or this is what you've been dealing with people that haven't been honest people that have gone through your heart and have taken uh you know walked very rampantly through your heart spirit is saying you've been mending this and you've been observing her Focusing out, watching, looking, you maybe people may have gaslighted you. So, um, you know, 
stalking you, looking at you, being obsessive with you, whatever this is, okay? Spirit is like, step back and just watch and just mend yourself and just heal yourself. I'm going to get another one for that, Spirit. Yeah, give yourself that unconditional love. That's what I'm feeling. All right, Sag, it's a time to just be really kind of fine-tuning that beautiful, unconditional love. Soak it up. Try not to look at the negatives that are happening this month. It's not it's not for you. Okay. So be very present and honor yourself as you are meant to be honored. Spirit says, when you feel like you're not enough, you are more than enough. Okay. Um, Spirit is saying there's a high honor with the work that you're doing. You can't go by what the world sees as a high honor. You know, like you have, like you're a surgeon and you're highly educated and you have all this money and you, whatever, that's not, <laughs> that's not being enough. You have the paradise inside of you. You've been doing this work, Sag. I'm seeing that. Spirit is saying, just be very present with yourself and realize that whatever you've been working through and whatever you've been struggling with, yeah, heartbreak, right? You've been maybe heartbroken about love here, that there's a change coming here for you, okay? You are of high honor. You are enough. So don't believe these things, okay? Okay. Let's take a look for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus in North Node. So what I'm saying, seeing here is like you've entered a massive cycle, Sag, okay? Whatever has been bad luck in your life, just things that were working out, just you don't understand what's going on. Um, Spirit is really kind of bringing this through that you've ended this cycle. So all you have to do is just kind of clean up the energy and just be really in a deeper place of love and what you want to build and what feels good for you and just honor that and not look at what's happening in the system and the world remember people that buy into our system and who want to be successful in our system they aren't really the awoken ones okay the awoken ones have had a really hard time have had to kind of fight their battles have had to like try and build themselves up okay so just be aware of that. Spirit really wants you to know that. We have the Four of Wands in reverse, the Page of Pentacles, the Ten of Wands, the Five of Cups. We have the Eight of Cups, the Nine of Cups in reverse, the Justice. Yeah, see, Karma Justice is coming to you. Whatever you have felt burdened about, it's coming for you, okay? And Codependency, Nine of Pentacles in reverse. So this is what I'm seeing, okay? Spirit is saying you may have had... You know, your foundation's broken down, things falling down. Spirit is like, this is for a reason. Just walk graciously into the unknown, okay? Walk into to find those two other cups. You have been going the distance. You can go a little bit more. Don't worry about what you've dealt with um, in the past in, in love, okay? It was imbalanced, okay? But this imbalance was to show you your mastery skills. This imbalance was to show you your true power. We Unfortunately, we do need contrast to move into the new. And so whenever you see something bad, spirit is like, yes, this is bad. Try not to focus. But what is the complete opposite of that? How can I move into something better? Because spirit is saying, get your balance here right now. Yes, things may be falling apart. Yes, things may not be feeling that great. They want you to realize that this is the point where you can manifest things even bigger and better than what you've always had than what you've had before. If you're willing to walk um, into this new direction, we have the page of wands in reverse. And that means that you're getting off the old path. You've already discovered that path. You don't need to discover it anymore. It's like it's a brand new path that's opening up for you in March in love. So it's going to feel different. You're going to have to purge the rest of this. And it's not going to be anything that you've ever felt before. So it's going to be a brand new vibration. It could be somebody with a divine counterpart coming back or it could be somebody entirely new. Let's take a look at your heart space because spirit is saying like wherever you've been gaslit or stalked or people not focusing on you, spirit is like take that energy back and just kind of observe and look at where you're loving your home, your temple, your um your life in your heart and and spirit is like there's a new offer coming you're ending this nine of cups you've been living where most humans live nine of cup love right the egoic stuff that's what i was saying at the beginning of this reading you're not part of this system people that want to be successful in the system 
aren't really awakened, okay? There comes a point where this is not working. That's why COVID's here. Everything's breaking apart for a reason because the years to come are not going to be in the city centers, not going to be the way that we're living with the system, okay? Um, people are going to be heavily inundated with system credit cards, uh, mortgages, all of that. We're going to a place where you can get rid of your mortgages, you can sell things, a very more minimalistic type of lifestyle. And I don't know why I'm bringing that up, but Spirit wanted me to bring that up, that if you have had losses, Spirit is just prepping you. Just realize that you don't need to build up into a system that's dying. That's what I'm getting. So this is, you're getting offered something brand new, okay? You're closing off the past here completely, Sagittarius. So don't worry about it. Look at this. You're coming into Empress mode here. You're coming into divinity and abundance, Okay, you don't have to wait for this anymore. All you have to do is just just relax. Be in this nice, I'm seeing be in your temple, be in your home and just allow. And sometimes we feel like we have to be doing work. But the most work sometimes that we're doing is relaxing and allowing. So Spirit is saying, whatever you feel, you're not enough. You are, you are completely enough. There is a karmic justice that is coming for you, okay? Everything that you have been working on is coming for you. Look at this. A king of swords may be ending a commitment. Um, <laughs> somebody that I ha was feeling this, go the distance because there is something coming in. The chain winds of change are happening. There is something where maybe you haven't learned your lessons in the past. Spirit is saying you may not, sorry if you hear my heater go off, it's minus 15 in Canada, to, in Toronto today. So <laughs> it's really cold. Um, so yeah, it's like Spirit is saying, um, for some of you, you may not have had to, you may not have learned your lessons in certain instances if this is not somebody coming back, but it's like, they want you to learn your lessons of this high honor of the work, stay present and look at where you haven't been enough and to get very clear in this King of Swords and very um, honest and align your head and your heart of where you haven't learned these lessons so the justice can come to you. And for others, this could be a masculine energy, could be an air sign um, that is you know, ending a commitment to bring karmic justice to you, okay? So take it as it resonates. But what's happening right now, Spirit wants you to realize that this not enough and this high honor is really going hand in hand. You have to choose which way you are. Are you enough or you have a high honor with Spirit? You have to believe that you have a high honor with Spirit. It's causing a lot of pain here. So Spirit is saying this is the work that you need to action right now. Yeah, this is Queen of cups in reverse to get emotionally balanced to know that you are highly deserving of everything okay to see clearly to a swords and unrequited love this is why you've had unrequited love you don't have to wait for this anymore there's no more work for you to do but to relax and allow and to just let everything be if if dark things are coming up and and things of the past you're like this is the same cycle this is what i always go through spirit is like saying just Relax and give it up. Don't even pay any, don't even give a piece of your emotion to it. Recognize it for what it is and then be like, yeah, be gone with you. I'm moving into something else, okay? Spirit is saying there's an attachment that's happening here that's causing a lot of heartbreak and regret, but there's a change coming, Sag. I feel like you're right on the brink of something. It's an internal change that's causing conflict, but this fear of change is also causing you conflict, okay? So, I feel some of you are stuck in a bit of a rut that it's like the same things keep coming up where you're going on dates or you're meeting new people or friends or it's like the same cycle just keeps coming up and Spirit is saying the cycle is coming up because we want you to see what you've been dealing with is like very dark or darker energies that are not for you and to not give them not even a piece of your energy anymore that you are being held in a high honor here and that things are shifting but this is the last piece to allow spirit to bring this in for you okay there is a courtship coming up here for you yeah somebody may be returning from the past the world in reverse there's some unfinished business okay with the king of wands here that wants a renewal but it's not being action and the reason why it's not being action is because there's still some cycles that are playing out and so on your end i'm getting is to be in a very relaxed state and an allowing state and not to pay mind to any dark things that are coming 
okay? Let's take a look at your karmic energies and see what's going on for that. Um, if you like this reading so far, so far, Sagittarius, please hit the like. It really helps my channel to grow. Please subscribe if you are new. And also keep in mind, we are going to be doing a pick a card at the end of this reading. There's going to be three cards that I'm going to pick. So think of a question. It can be, you know, one question and then you pick one of the three cards will be yes or no. Or you can ask a question, three questions for each card. Let's take a look at your karmic situation. Okay, guys. I might be opening up readings again for the spring equinox, which is coming next month. So stay tuned for that. I'll probably put an announcement in the community board for that. I only open up readings every now and then. <laughs> but if you would like a coaching session or anything else, take a look down below. My Soul Tribe membership has workshops and activations and bi-weekly calls um, where you can also ask questions and I pull cards for the group. And I'm creating it as a school, which I'm teaching people how to work in energy properly. <laughs> so that's another option. All right. <coughs> Sorry, guys. This is Sun, Moon, and Rising Venus, North Node, for Sagittarians. What is the karmic energies that are playing out right now in March? Thank you, Spirit. For Sagittarius, what is the karmic energies for Sagittarius in March? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Thank you, and North Node. Thank you. I have a feeling I want to look at the bottom for some reason for you guys. Yeah, so you're rebuilding. You're starting from scratch. There's a new building, um, new changes happening, new energies that are coming. So it's like a clean slate that wants to come in for you, Sag, okay? Again, that's what we were saying to observe, right? You have the leg up here. Even though it may not feel like that, Sag, you have the leg up in this karmic situation. Observe what's happening. You've got to sit back. There is a message coming. This is what I was feeling. Someone may be coming back from the past. Wow, this is a lot that came out. But we have a new life coming out. You've been out to sea. You're mending the bridges. You're between worlds. You know, I'm just going to take these. I know there are a lot, but I mean, we had the between worlds that came out at the beginning of this reading we've had the mending bridges there is something that's happening either with a divine counterpart or it could be um yeah it's just something is happening here could be a counterpart could be um you're healing your heart finally so you're now moving in between worlds you're moving into a brand new frequency that's definitely what i'm seeing there is a new life that's going to call you home to the shores okay sag this is what's happening here. There is a new life. You've been out to sea for a little bit. Spirit's calling you home here. Okay. So, wow. This karmic energy is just, you know, chill out. I don't think you have to do anything but just observe. That's why Spirit was asking you, Saj. Just get very comfortable in your energy and do not be mind to any dark things that are trying to come and pull you back in. Okay. Spirit says you've gained the awareness. You know what those energies feel like. You don't need to play in that. You can just set your boundaries be like, no, I'm looking to the complete opposite. That means things are shifting. That means I'm moving. When the darkness hit, it means usually things are moving in your favor. I know that sounds that we try to fix it, but that's actually a form of manifestation. Things start to blow up and you've got to stay kind of calm in the storm before you hit a new vibe, okay? So let's take a look. What is going on for Sagittarian, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node? You have the leg up in this karmic situation. Whatever karma you've been dealing with in this life, it's coming. Yeah, you have a leg up in wherever you felt trapped, okay? So just know Spirit is like leveraging you, okay? Mothering you. This is a polar bear. She's standing there. This is universe helping you climb up to what where you need to go. So don't worry about this being feeling trapped. You're, it's only the state of mind. Spirit is actually doing things things for you to move you out of that way out of this old vibration so just sit in your heart and observe the karma that's coming spirit says you may be able to um, for some of you you'll be able to watch and the, uh, the karma unfold which is beautiful yeah you've been working really really hard to build up your wealth to build up your finances and it could be also financial not financial wealth and love what money it's wealth is not just money wealth is all kinds of things you have all the money in the world and be the, the unhappiest person on the planet you know um some of the happiest people on this planet have no money, right? So you're wealthy and you've been working really hard. So now spirit is just saying, just sit back, just sit back and observe this. A message is coming in. You just have to receive. You have the empress that was coming up. Look at this. Another message. Seriously, Sagittarius, you have a message on a message. So 
you need to come back and comment on this and let me know if you actually get a message because this is brilliant. Um, we have here a new life. You're between worlds, mending. Yeah, things are changing. Look at this. The change came out. You are mending. Things are changing. Give me one more for that spirit. You're going to get an unexpected income, a surprise. So just wait. Okay, Sag, this is beautiful. So does things are unexpected things are going to happen in your life in your life so don't worry about it this karmic situation is done spirit has taken a hold of it you have the leg up don't feel trapped just uh keep moving forward and keep honoring yourself taking care of yourself relaxing don't worry too much about what doesn't need to be done right now if you have stress in your life let it go just you know there's certain things that you can't handle right now that's okay spirit will take care of it you just make sure that you're maintaining your vibration and keeping it pure because somebody somebody i think's coming back for you or love is something is happening here you're going yeah there's been there's a massive shift happening there's an awakening happening lightning okay so your situation is about to change karmic justice is coming for you yeah you may have been stabbed in the back here okay this person is going to chase you now. If you have a person in mind, this person's coming for you because they know of the heartbreak and pain. This could be the man that's working very hard and you're just observing that now. Or it could be you were chasing and were stabbed in the back by this person. You've worked really hard to hit a place of healing. So however that resonates. But um, the codependency and all of that, just observe it within yourself and just sit back and watch these patterns just play out. There is definitely messages coming for you outdated thinking replaying events spirit is saying don't get too trapped in the past here okay but a message about the past is returning is what i'm getting here about a higher level of commitment engagement ring oh my god sag so there's something happening here there's a surprise just sit back allow the change to happen things are mending sagittarians yeah, reminiscing from the past, you will gain clarity from the past, okay? You will see the truth. The truth is coming in for you. You have been preserved and blocked, Sag, out of it, okay? So just realize that this is now just, um, yeah, you just got to sit back and watch. You don't have to worry about the current situation. You don't have to do anything. This is all going in your favor, all right, just checking the time there, yeah. All right, let's take a look. What is going on for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node for their month of March? Thank you, Spirit. The month of March. Thank you. What is going on in the month of March in their karmic situation? Yeah, I don't, I don't think you have to do anything. This is like kind of, you know, pretend you're on a beach. You may not be. If you are, I'm so jealous. But pretend you're on a beach. Just relaxing and laying back and having a drink and um yeah just allowing spirit to do its work look at this seven of pentacles four of pentacles the high priestess which is the sorceress in my deck the four of wands in reverse this is a lot of your foundation maybe just breaking apart you've got to allow that to happen the nine of wands clarifying the seven of pentacles ten of cups wow Ace of Cups in reverse, and the Magician, which is the wizard in my deck. <clears throat> okay, so this is what I'm getting here. You keep persevering through this mental entrapment, through where you feel trapped. There's a massive awakening that is, there's massive shifting that is happening. You keep investing in yourself, okay? Spirit wants you to keep focusing on yourself. There are certain events in the world that are happening this is what i'm seeing spirit is out there canceling things ending things in other people's lives okay that's why you're in a hangman position they're canceling all these different events or canceling different people getting together this is a timeline shift sagittarius okay you have the leg up so don't you worry about, you are like, the. just sit back in this hangman position and allow this to happen here. Yeah, it's ending separation. You're coming out of healing, four swords in reverse. You stay aligned. The four of pentacles is about the mind and the heart being completely aligned. So you stay aligned with how you are. Uh, you stay focused. You create that foundation. That's also a four, which is about foundation for your happiness. And... <laughs> 
there's again the tower you will see the ship you will be surprised pleasantly surprised her sagittarius okay raining on your ego taking the pride okay ground yourself don't worry about the changes that are happening and be as present as you can we have unrequited love things are hidden from you okay that you're going to want to seek more here you're going to get a message about someone that you may have thought was unrequited love or did not express their feelings to you or did not say what they were meaning it's going to be a little bit of a surprise of a of an explanation or um, a bit of a, you know, the page is, you know, not the best way to communicate, a little immature communication, but it is coming in about this betrayal that's happened. So it was hidden. Somebody hid something about what they felt for you. That's why things couldn't heal. And that's why this destiny never happened. So this karmic situation, whoever this person is, um, there's something happening here. If you're single, this is just an old vibration and all of that, you know, you're going to get a message of, of somebody from someone new, mo um, moving towards somebody else that you've been thinking of. It's just a whole new vibration and a renewal. You may get a, a message from somebody that you started dating saying, yes, let's take this to the next level. However, it is for you, you will be getting a message of wherever there's been betrayal, wherever there's been unrequited love, no more, okay? There's going to be a renewal that happens. The judgment's on the bottom here. Um, so, yeah, let's take a look here. You're going to gain clarity. As long as you wait, mend your bridges. Yet yeah, you're getting off the old path. Your foundation's being broken down. So, you know, if you don't know the law of vacuum, look up the law of vacuum, Sagittarius. Things have to be completely taken out of your life before the new can come in. So take it as a good sign. Like, yes, I'm being cleared out. You've been taken off of certain path. Your foundation has been broken down where things have failed, okay, for this new manifestation to push you forward and to push you into, into something new. So, yeah, that's what I'm getting. This The karmic justice is working out for you. There is a surprise coming for you. You move on onto calmer waters. I really feel that um, you're moving into something more peaceful. So, this is really beautiful for you, Sag. All right. Beautiful reading, Sag. Really, really nice. Um, think of your question now. We're going to do... We'll use this deck. Um... Think of your question. You can think of three questions, yes or no. Or you can think of one question and pick card number one, two, or three. You may want to pause the video to just relax before I pull the card. So this is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and North Node Spirit. What is going on with the Sagittarians, please? Sag, please. What is going on with Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and North? node thank you let's take a look okay card number one card. i won't read these upside down i'm just going to take whatever comes up from the upright position all right here we go guys okay card number one we have the two of pentacles. So spirit is saying that this is still a debate that's still going um, on. Spirit wants you to just try and balance it out for now. An answer is coming for you. There is an owl on the back of this, which is wisdom. So there is an answer that I feel that they don't want to give to you right now. I'm sorry, I hate to say that, but it's almost like they want you to be patient here and balance yourself enough and allow that answer to come to you from spirit. The wisdom is coming. You will gain clarity in what you need to know in this situation. Okay, card number two, we have the two of swords. It's the same message. Oh my God. So this is like what I'm getting from your reading, Sag. It's like this whole reading was about you have the leg up. You just got to chill out, right? You just got to allow and just be in your essence and keep your vibration high and just let things fall away and just don't let them suck you back. It's the same thing with the two of swords. I'm seeing like this juggling or this crossroads and that the answers will be revealed. So that's the same as number one. Let's see what number three has. We have the king of wands. That's a definite yes that there is action that's going to be taken and it's going to be moving forward, okay? 
don't forget to like and subscribe thank you for uh coming back and yeah we'll see you guys soon i would love to hear what you thought of your reading and um so much love you guys bye